on the experience platform we allow for one trust data to be ingested through a source connector while setting this connector up you're able to map the attributes the granular attributes from one trust to a customizable schema that you've set up with an aap uh, and enrich your users profile information a marketer can use these attributes to define consent policies i've created one for this demo but let's assume we're using one trust to collect a user's consent to receiving emails this policy is set to trigger every time an email targeting action is taken and it checks for the value of any chosen attribute in this case the map one trust attribute that captures consumer consent for receiving emails what this does is ensures only profiles that have consented to receiving emails do actually end up receiving emails and the statistics on the right that tells you what how your audience size changes um now as a marketer uh, again for the purposes of this demo I've created this already uh, but let's assume we've created a segment of users that meet a hypothetical marketing criteria and I'm now trying to activate them to a destination that is set up for uh, email targeting I wanted to demo how um, the policy we just saw influences the addressable audience size for this segment. The philosophy uh, philosophy behind this is that a marketer needn't take on the data steward's role here of controlling any regulatory or organizational policies and can instead focus on creating high value segments. Um uh, like you can see here before I finish the activation, I'm able to view the applicable consent policies for email targeting and can be assured that only the consented audience which is that overlap in that Venn diagram there uh, receive the targeted emails um so you can see how the consent attributes you collect through a consent platform like one trust can be a powerful tool as you create marketing campaigns um on ap